Today is November 14th and I thought I'd give you a quick update on my indoor winter lettuce garden. This is the first rack that I planted and two weeks ago when I did an update I was very enthusiastic things were growing and then they pretty much stopped growing. So I've been trying to do some investigation on it, googled and googled and googled and identified it. Best way to see it is on this plant here. This is the salad bowl lettuce. And if you look closely, the tips of the leaves are brown. Different causes of it end up in the result of possibly I'm giving it too much light. When I posted my last video, I stated that on these racks, I have three lights. On the new rack, I have two lights. And the rack with the two lights is doing much better. I'll show you that now. This is the second rack I set up where there are two lights Per shelf, as you can see, the growth is great on these. On the second shelf down is where I planted seeds. I have the lettuce seeds, which were older seeds, and they've not done too well. The dwarf blue scotch kale is doing quite well, and the dwarf scotch curled kale is doing well. Another thing that I've since added are some microgreens. These are Grand Rapids leaf lettuce. But if you look closely, there's something else, a darker leaf, that's coming up in amongst the leaf lettuce. When it gets a little bit bigger, I'll be pulling those out to taste them and see if I can tell what they are. show you a comparison of plants from the two different racks. This is from the first rack that has the three lights on it. This is the Red Russian Ragged Jack Kale. This is from the second rack that has two lights per shelf on it. Same type of kale. You can see the difference in the height and the difference in the size of the leaves. The second rack is doing much, much better. Hopefully the next update that I give you on this rack of plants will be a good one. I'm going to change things up. I'm going to reduce the three lights up here to two lights and see if that does make a difference. The only other thing that I found could be a possibility is that there wasn't enough air circulation. I've turned the fans off for right now, but on this rack, there was plenty of air circulation. On the second rack, there's been no air circulation because I didn't have any fans for it. So I will give y'all an update in a couple weeks Hopefully the growth starts out on this and it gets big enough to eat. Eating a whole food plant-based diet, my gardens, whether it's spring, summer, winter, fall, are important to me. I love fresh produce where I know how it's grown, what's added to it, and that it is in fact fresh. The one thing I've learned about gardening is the only thing that is predictable is that it's unpredictable. You never know when something will or won't work. The main thing is if you're new to gardening, 
Don't give up. A lot of times there is a fix for things. In the case of this rack, this was my second rack of plants. If I hadn't liked my growth on the first rack, I wouldn't have planted these. So don't give up. Keep trying. See if you can figure out what's happening. You'll get a lot of good and bad advice on the internet and from fellow gardeners. But don't give up, because if you give up, there's no chance of growing something. I want to thank you all for watching my videos. Please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. If you subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate that. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified when the new videos come up and you'll know when I give an update on this, my possible epic fail first attempt at an indoor lettuce garden.